Now to finish this project out, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and finish detailing a drawing. If you're not familiar with this tool, there's a new tool that we introduced last year in 2020 called Detailing Mode. When I go and open up a drawing, instead of opening it fully resolved, I can open up this drawing in a mode called Detailing. What this does is, is when it, you open up this drawing in RAM, it prevents SOLIDWORKS from having and needing to load all of the child components, sub-assemblies, and top-level assemblies into the RAM of your hardware. You can see this by coming over here to the right hand side of your screen and looking in the open in SOLIDWORKS. You'll notice that I'm not loading all of the child components into my RAM. What's the byproduct of this? The byproduct of this is the fact that you can work in detail drawings much faster. So my general workflow is I get all my views created, especially when working with large assemblies. I save my drawing and then I open it up in the detailing mode. The benefit is in 2021, we've expanded the functionality and all the tasks that you can do in detailing mode. Now in detailing mode, you can add any kind of balloons whether with the view out without needing the view to be loaded. I can modify any annotations. So in this case, eh, we don't need to know not to stand on this unit. We already know that. I can get rid of that. Maybe I want to come over here and finish detailing out this last page in my drawing. Well, I noticed that my dimensions are going off the screen. So let's go ahead and fix that. Leveraging detail mode, we can come in here and use any of the view creation tools that we're used to using. In this example, let's go ahead and do a break view on this top view of our unit. To do that, I would use the exact same steps that I'm used to using by simply left clicking and placing my break view signifiers directly on top of this top view. Along with that, once I'm done creating all my break views, I can leverage all of my dimensioning tools that I'm used to using inside this detail mode. In this case, we'll go ahead and confirm this. We'll right click up here at the top and we'll go ahead and add the rest of the dimensions to this ordinate dimension. I now have access to all the dimensioning tools in this detail mode without resolving that actual file. Now, the last thing I need to do as far as this top view is I need to create a detail view. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go ahead and create one more view. Now, the really neat thing about this is that, again, I'm not having to load all of the components into RAM to actually generate this geometry. I can leverage all the things that I'm used to using. For example, I can now see the whole callout command and my normal smart dimension. Now, what you're going to notice is with smart dimension, whether you're in the detail mode or you're not in the detail mode, you're going to see that creating dimensions is much easier because the dimension is now transparent where you can now select through the dimension without having to hide it or do all sorts of funky things with your cursor. Now, in some instances, I create sketch blocks or sketch geometry inside my drawing environment. We've made it much easier to add relations using the same familiar buttons and clicks that you are that you use in the part environment you can now add relations by simply doing a control select and creating your relationships using our standard relationship menu along with that while we're in the detail mode we can modify any existing dimensions in this case i, I noticed that i only have two decimal places on this bottom dimension i need to go ahead and add a third decimal place and let's add a tolerance directly into this interface. We'll give this a tolerance of plus or minus five thousandths. While I'm down here, again, still in that detail mode, I notice that this dimension is not going to the correct location. I get access to all of the options and all of the properties in any of my dimension windows. Simply clicking on that dimension, I can now change this from the minimum arc length to the center arc length to get the dimension that I'm truly after. We've added a lot of functionality, and these are usually some of the favorites amongst both new and old SOLIDWORKS users alike.